Hey everybody, welcome back to another Crooked Chicken video. Today we're going to do a little Walking Dead, uh, particularly Walking Dead Dead City, uh, the new series that's coming out this June that's going to focus around uh, Maggie and Negan. And when this show was first announced, we had no idea why they would pair these two particular characters off, and most importantly, we had no idea why the fuck they would end up in New York, of all places, considering that, uh, you know, where they left off at the end of The Walking Dead, everyone seemed happy and content where they were. They didn't show any kind of, uh, they didn't show any indication that these people were going to leave this location and just kind of venture off. And now that we have a new trailer and bits and pieces of information have been revealed about the show, it does kind of explain why they go and why they're going together. But then again, it still leaves a lot of questions of why they're even together and kind of getting into more of it as we do the trailer. Uh, it was only 15 seconds of footage. Uh, as they get closer to the series, we know that they'll probably do maybe a one-minute trailer, then bump it up to a three-minute trailer. So uh, with this little bit of footage that I'm going to show you right now, like I said, it opens up with Maggie and then we have Herschel being dragged away by these people. We have no idea who these people are, and then we get this flash of this dude. Now, this guy, I can't remember his name, but he is in a lot of, um, he's been in a lot of things. He is always playing kind of a menacing, villainous character, and, and you know, he does a very good job at it. And then it just kind of proceeds on. And then one thing that also kind of bugs me about this, though, is this blue tint that they're going with. It's, uh... Yeah, it's good. It makes it hard to watch these kind of shows because they want to really darken everything. But that's just kind of another thing that we won't really dive into much to. But and then we get our freeze frame of Negan, and you know he's looking as handsome as ever. But then we see uh, as Negan and Maggie are going about to find out why Herschel is taking everything, and also one thing that was really kind of bugging me and has bugged a lot of people: why is Negan the key to finding Herschel? It kind of opens doors to theories like. Is this guy and his group former members of the Saviors? Or is this guy a group from when Maggie and Georgie were together that they came across? Or it just leaves a lot of questions and wondering who this guy is and why they would come after Herschel in particular. Or maybe they're targeting Maggie or just, you know, who knows? Maybe they come across him randomly and they think he has some information. It could be this whole situation where it's this group of people that know that Maggie or Negan come from a community that is prosperous or what have you, and now they, like a lot of people, want that community or they want the resources of that community. You know, it's kind of a storyline that has been regurgitated over and over throughout the Walking Dead years. And so it just, it leaves a lot of questions and wondering why they're choosing to go with these characters and why Negan is some reason the key to getting Herschel back. So... Just kind of moving on from there. We got all these walkers. Then we, and we got Negan taking this walker's head and slamming it against a concrete pillar, which, you know, true Negan fashion. Because he did mention in interviews that Negan's going to be kind of reverting back to who he was, in a sense. But still with that uh, desire to find redemption with Maggie for doing what he did to Glenn. And just showing her that he is a different person. But at the same time, I think he's going to have to tap into these old ways or these old habits to help her find Herschel and just it's it could be just all over the place we kind of get Maggie it looks like she's kind of pinned down by this walker that's just a I don't even know what it's just a blob you know a lot of people think it could be a variant but I think it's just a matter of the walker that the skin's peeling off because it's decaying I mean just like any other walker but then again why does he have all these long gangly fucking teeth that's just another road to go down. And then we have uh, this little bit where we see that Negan and Maggie are making their way through New York with this new mystery character. We don't know too much about him. I think he's been in previous bits of footage that we've seen. And maybe he's guiding them through the city. But uh, then we have this little bit where uh, walkers are falling from the sky. Obviously, they're probably coming off buildings or out of buildings with blown out windows or... How they could be a form of defense that people are using and shoving them out the windows. It's just, you know, we don't know if they're if they're going that far. And then Negan has his little uh, line, you know, we got walkers falling from the sky now. And just in true Negan fashion doing his thing. And just it kind of closes off there and we get the title card. So, like I said, not a whole lot of information of what the hell is actually going on. 
and you know not a lot of footage to work with but uh like i said we'll probably get at least a couple more trailers before the show actually premieres this summer and as far as i know they have not really announced whether or not this is going to be a one and done or maybe a handful of seasons because we know that's the Rick and Michonne, that's going to be one and done. Or at least that's what the original plan was. There's going to be a lot of people, myself included, that don't see how they can fit all that time frame within these six episodes that they have initially kind of proposed. That's just a whole nother thing itself. With this particular series, I am looking forward to it, but they are kind of taking Walking Dead and milking it for everything it's worth. So... We'll see. Hopefully they kind of redeem some things about Walking Dead that many people didn't like towards the end of the series and just kind of bring a fresh new thing to it because they're supposed to be going to this the isolated island of Manhattan because, you know, bridges and everything were blown at the beginning of the fall and just it's supposed to have a million walkers. And so it'll be interesting to see how they navigate all of that and how they make their way to the city and just... Hopefully, within those first couple episodes, they answer a lot of these questions, especially why are they together, why are they in New York, and why this particular group is either targeting Negan or Maggie or Herschel. Just, I'm sure it'll take a handful of episodes to get some of those questions answered, but anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little breakdown. I think that'll do it. If you did, please leave those comments. Tell me what you think, what you expect to get from the show, if it's going to be worth it, and if you really want to show your support for the channel, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. So until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.